hi good morning okay hopefully you can uh, hear me and you can see my screen right now okay so if okay i will start okay hi everyone thanks and we are really appreciated because you will spend your time to join us today's webinar today's webinar is discover mini tap workspace Okay, I'm Nun Sulawati. I'm the technical support specialist at Visit System. Visit System are uh, independent local representation for mini tap product and training for Malaysia, Singapore, and Batam, Indonesia. Okay, uh, mini tap workspace is separated uh, software from our flagship product, mini tap certificate software, but it one of the mini tap product. Okay, for those are uh, familiar with the companion where another product of Minitab, uh, Minitab Workspace is a new branding for desktop version of companion. Okay, before we get started, there are a few housekeeping items to take notes. If you have questions during presentation, please type them into the question box in your control panel. You may send any any uh, anytime throughout the presentation, but I will address them during Q&A session at the end of webinar. Kindly ensure that you have connected to the audio via your computer speakers. For your information, this webinar will be recorded and therefore it will be set as listen on the mode to avoid depression to the audio recording. The recording will be accessible anytime later on on our website www.visits.com or by subscribing to our YouTube channel Minitab Malaysia and Singapore. So uh, our agenda today, we go through what is the mini tap workspace. We started explore the mini tap workspace with the process map, where it's your process starting and your process starting, and uh, what is the activity between start and your end of your process. Okay, before uh, focus on making any process improvement. Identify all potential input or causes with the brainstorm tools. And then after we identify the potential input to help prioritize input that have, have the greatest impact on your problem, maybe you can use cause and effect diagram of FMEA, failure mood analysis, we consider as the form in the workspace. And then if you are coming from data analyzer, the next step after you create the model, you want to do simulation. So in the workspace, we have a tools, a multi color simulation. And for those are familiar with the desktop companion by Minitab, maybe we have uh, some new tools inside the uh, workspace and then we have a summary for this session. <clears throat> yeah. Basically, Minitab workspace is a visual tools for better business productivity. Okay. Uh, workspace enable to uh, visualize, analyze and prioritization that derive understanding of compact initiative and create value across various teams in your organization. So in the workspace, we have more than 19 tools inside there. And then they work is a functional for the visual tools. And then they ha have uh, features like data sharing between tools. Okay. And then inside the workspace also, we have a, we call it roadmap means that is a project roadmap means that uh, for example, for DMIC, define measure analysis uh, improvement. So every stages, they have uh, tools inside there. For example, we have process map, uh, we have uh, VSM, we have MEA, we have a site and so on. So we provide also for the project 
rope mate inside the workspace. Okay. Well, so this one is an example what the tools inside the uh, workspace. For example, if let's say you're looking for the process improvement, for example, for the fishbone diagram, uh, Ishikawa diagram, or you want to go for the process map, it's a simple process map or uh, complex process map. Maybe you want to go for the FMEA process of failure mood and disease. And then if let's say you will go for the side part. And then if let's say you are coming from the lean background, maybe you are familiar with BSM, okay, uh, familiar with the time study. So we uh, have a form to do this kind of the tools. And then for uh, you are from the, maybe you are from the product development, you are always uh, using the uh, DFMEA or you want to do the something analysis about the Kano, want to uh, do the comparison between your customer needs. Maybe you want to go for the SWOT analysis. Okay. Maybe you want to do the house of quality or house of quality matrices. QFT. And then if let's say you want to do decision making tools, let's say you want to do impact versus X uh, effort matrices, or you want to do the uh, bias comparison, or you are manager, maybe you are project management, so you need a lot of like gam chart, uh, you want to do the schedule, you want to do the uh, meeting minutes, so inside the, inside the workspace, we provide that kind of the uh, tools, or let's say you want to do something RCA, simple uh, uh, project, let's say you want to do IDMM or you want to do 5Y, YY, and then also you can have a brainstorm, let's say 4S or 8P. Okay, so I think I go to the Minitab workspace, okay, directly, for example, here. I'm just include uh, the same thing is, uh, let's say, for the process improvement. So let's say we have the process map, okay or you want to do the CNE matrices, okay, inside the process map. For the lean set, we have a work element time study. So let's say you have your element, so you have your time, and then you can get the calculation here. And then if let's say you have uh, do the 5S, okay, audit, okay, or you can, you also, maybe you have a gam Gamba or interview sheet, Okay, maybe so you can proceed with the link or you have from the product memo, maybe you want to do the Kano models. Okay, it's a satisfied, not satisfied. Okay, or you want to do SWOT analysis, strength, weakness, opportunity, and trait for your process. Okay, we want to do the uh, solution desirable. Okay, so you we provide this kind of the template. And then we have, uh, let's say you want to do gun chat, okay, or you want to do RASI, responsibility assignment, uh, matrices, or you want to do the 5Y, maybe, okay, Y, 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 and Y. So, but, okay, so this one is included in this uh, mini tab of space, okay. Go to back to this one. Okay, as I mentioned, for the workspace, we consider that we have a two kind of the template. We call it is a tools, and then we call it of the project. So let's say you want starting with the workspace. So you launch your workspace. Okay, launch your workspace. Okay, so in this one is the first interface you see. If let's say you want to create the tools or you want to create the project, you go to the new. Okay, so inside the new, they provide you in the left side is a tools, and then the right side is a project. Let's say you want to consider that you want to just create a tools, so you go and you choose this tool. This one is appear for those are uh, all often frequently using uh, by practitioner. So never mind. If let's say you want to uh, see the full list of the tools, so you go for the show full list of the tools. So they provide the full list of the tools, include the tools, uh, for example, this one. And then this one is the project. 
or you can type in, let's say I just won't proceed with the process map. Okay. Okay, so I just want to do the simple one. Okay, flow chart. So I click, and then go directly to in uh, those. Uh, you open the workspace as a tool uh, template. Okay, so in this um, interface, we have a three section. The first section is here. We call it the one is the project manager. Okay project manager just only have the uh, what kind of the tools in your site and then you can add the, another tools and then this one is we call it the workspace okay you can view or you can edit the tools and then in this section we have uh, we call it task bin but this section only available if let's say you choose the process map and the brainstorm tools only not the all those. So I think I go to this one. Let's say you choose the process map here. You go for the home here. Okay, you can go for the insert. So in the side insert here, we have, we call it that one is a form tools. That one is a mapping tools. That one is a brainstorm tools. And then this one is a simulation tools. So this one is the, the main tools inside the uh, wall space. Okay, so if let's say you open the uh, workspace as a tools, if let's say you do something like a project, so you can go the same step also, go back to this one. But now you consider that want to open the workspace as a project, okay? Let's say you want to do, do the AMIC project. You consider that this one is the for the DMIC project. So you go here, just DMIC project. Okay. Okay. So once you open what space as a project, so they provide you another session. We call it this one is a roadmap. Okay. In the roadmap, we have a uh, paces. For example, is here is a define. Inside the pages, they provide the tools. Let's say if a CTQ here or sidepod here, maybe inside the pages, maybe can be our form, can be our mapping tools, can be our brainstorm, or can be our simulation. And then never mind, you can uh, customize also. Let's say you want to add the uh, other pages or you want to add the other tools. Okay, you just right click and then you can add the insert tools, insert this one, or you can rename, you can delete. Okay, for all this map. If let's say you consider that you want to open the workspace as the project base. Okay, and then the same thing we have the uh, uh, workspace here. Okay, and then let's say we go for this one. Okay, this one is considered as a uh, tools so they doesn't appear the task pin here if let's say I choose the process map here okay they appear the uh, task pin here that's why I want to stress here if let's say you want to do uh, something like you want to add in the data sharing so if let's say that one have the that's space, so you can insert the x variable and your y variable. Never mind, I will show after this how to do this one. Okay. So this one is how you want to open the uh, tools or project using the mini tag workspace. Okay. So go back to this one. Okay. okay. So I think we go, we, as, we try explore by the first tools inside the workspace. Okay, we try explore using the process map. Maybe process map helps you to understand and to communicate the activity or step in your process. Okay, maybe they are also used to see the relationship between your input and 
output in your process. Maybe from the process map, you can answer the question like, what areas of the process show the greatest opportunity for a specific project? Where does the project where and where, where does it end? Okay, what are the input and output of each step in the process? I think I'll go directly to that. So now I open the workspace as the tools. I will just create to process map. Okay, so go to new and then I choose the process map. So they provide the process map. So we go for the go for the gallery shape. In here we provide the start uh, shape, uh, decision shape, or uh, end shape, okay, process shape, decision shape, and then also in the gallery shape, we have a connect connector. Okay, for example, here it have one started here. Okay, so we see fit. So just use typing. Okay, the next one I have the process here. Okay, says here. Booster. And then you need have a connector. So you choose the connector here. So you go for the first shape here, start, go to the process. So let's say you here, you put here, you need have a, let's say red color, okay? So uh, you need to turn to a green color, go to the green color. So never mind if let's say this one, you can manipulate this one, editing, with the alignment, okay, maybe go for the center. Or if let's say you don't want, uh, drag one by one, you just using these features, let's say I need the next step is the decision step, okay? So just put for this one, okay? So next step is the process step. The next step is the process step. Okay, maybe here is we have another here. You can print. Okay, so maybe here is a decision. So as we know, decision we have yes or no. Maybe you have another term. Okay, here is a name. That you just only double click on that connector. Okay, for example, here, see from here to here. Okay, so if let's say you want to do the alignment, so you just select all and then go for the alignment. Okay, so for example, here, so you can go for the alignment in the middle one. Okay, so if let's say you want to do the customization or editing. Okay, so right click, so you can go for the formatting. Maybe this one is start here. Okay, you choose the fake color, maybe red color, so formatting. Okay, so everything you can go click on that process, right click. Okay, you can delete, you can edit, okay, you can send, okay. Also, you can send directly to the words or to the PowerPoint, okay. And then, if let's say this one, you have something like uh, X variable or Y variables inside the uh, process. So I think I go for the full one. Okay. Okay. So this one is my full version of the uh, process map. Okay. So in here, I have a, some. Thing like x variable so i go there and then go to the test pin and then click in new so my x is the critic okay. so our type is a sop type and then you click okay okay so if let's say you 
at here in the task pane so you can get that one is your x here and then this one is our y it should be yeah, so, clear, yeah. so this one is uh, helpful for you to do the next toast let's say you want to do the brainstorm or you want to do the uh, form let's say for the CNE metric so this one is the uh, data sharing where is we say that uh, in what space you have features like data sharing so include in this process map you can call back for your x here for your y here to other stores okay so let's say you have a process so you can got uh, type in your process or you have a link Okay, your cycle time, so you can manipulate all this kind of the uh, X and your Y. So this one is uh, maybe you reduce your time. Okay, so for this case, I have already the full one. Okay, so every step here, I put the X variable. Okay, for example, for the credit card here, I have X, X printer, uh, bin, order, and form. Okay, so this one is the uh, process that in the using the workspace. Okay, so we go for the next one is a brainstorm. Okay, brainstorm in those in com uh, when you we have a four S okay fishbone we have a three layout fishbone CT three or idea map. Okay, I go back to this uh, workspace. This which one? Okay, I go to the this portion. Okay, so how? Go to insert. Go to the uh, brainstorm. Or I choose the fish spoon here. Okay, so I choose the fish spoon cause and effect diagram. Click fish spoon and they create. Okay, so I go back. Go to the insert. Go to the brainstorm. Okay, choose the uh, fish bone and you create the create okay so you get the fish bone as we know in this fish bone <coughs> we have a three uh three term this one is a effect effect is your problem you want to solve it that is located at on the your backbone and then we call it this one is affinity this one is category or logical grouping of your causes and then the cause and sub causes here we call it the potential reason uh, for the problem that branch uh, from the affinity so in uh, to insert the effect affinity and sub clause you can enter okay you can type in the test pane here for example here i have a uh, Okay, I have a cell, uh, cycle, cycle time. Okay, so you just put input. Okay, sales. I have a shipping. Okay, I have data entry. Okay, I have the picking error. Okay, so you just drag and drop. So if I say it's our cycle time is PR effect okay so, okay so, okay so for example it's a shipping so you go for the shipping okay or you can type in here so let's say cycle time Okay. Okay. So you can go for the sales or data entry, your sub your sub category. So you just drag and drop only. Okay. So you can drag and drop. Okay. Or you can import once you already include in your process map. For example, here I just want to import your my variable here. 
Okay. So I go to this one. So I check all this one and click OK. Okay. So click OK. So for example, here, I want to do the something like, okay, the email. Okay. Be here. Okay. So order form. So maybe here. Okay. Okay. So you can just drag and drop. So if let's say you want to just import X, so you click for the import X. If let's say you want to import your Y, so you click and Y and then you check all, or you can select which one is your be your uh, Y variables and then you click here. So everything in here just drag and drop. Okay. So this one is the fish spoon. Okay. And then here you can go for the let's say affinity here. Okay, we have a sibling, your child. So same like click. You can format here, you can switch side, okay? You can send to Word or you can send to PowerPoint. Okay, I have the my this one, okay? So this one is the real one. My problem is I uh, want to reduce the cycle time, okay? Because this is uh, from the sales, okay, here. And there's shipping, okay? So let's say here, the shipping, the side of effect, cause and effect, okay? okay. So you can choose, you can um, change your layout, maybe ID map, okay, maybe push point, maybe a PR3 diagram, so you can choose it, okay, this one. Okay. So the next one is the about the work with the variables in the form, okay, but I think for this form, I just choose only for C metric, okay, so C metric cause any effects. Matrices to quantitative evaluate to set of your X input again a set of your Y input to determine their likely relationship between cause and effect. Okay, so I think go directly to the workspace here. Okay. So go to insert, go to form. This one is to consider as a form. Okay, so you type in C and E matrices. So C and E matrices, you just create. Okay, so create here. So I'll go back to insert form. Okay, type C and E matrix. And then you choose, and then you click create. So you get this. Uh, template for the C animatory. So if let's say you are considered as one is a form. Okay. So go to form. So let's say you want to add something like your logo, company or whatever. So you can go for the design. Okay. So maybe I just uh, want to put here my our logo so you go for the picture okay so just this i just put here mm -hmm. okay and then if let's say you are satisfied with this one so you click fill up okay so you can put and uh, customize in this template also okay for example here for this cinematry so i already insert our uh my x variables and my y variables just i call him back okay for here click in this icon plus minus whether you want to create the new x variable or you want to select existing x variable for this case i just choose with the select existing variables so i click check all this one and then click okay okay so they directly uh put inside this table okay this one is for the x variable so let's say you have your y variable here so just here so maybe you want to create so if let's say you want to add uh, multiple columns here so click okay so directly they provide you the uh, multiple column okay or you can add one by one okay for example here i have okay, this one is Maybe okay, shipping it. Okay. So, 
Okay. So maybe I just put the rating here. Okay. So four. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. So you can put everything here and then you can go for the status, maybe critical, maybe potential, maybe eliminates. Okay, for this one. And then they provide the Pareto chart here. So based on this one is the mean here is a printer set. And then for your information, if let's say you choose the form, so and then you uh, doesn't have any idea what is cost and effect diagram, how to do cost and effect diagram. Never mind, you can go for the here instruction, click open. So they provide something tips or uh, something like what is the input, what is the output, how to do, okay, how to schedule uh, your uh, X variables here, okay. So if let's say you doesn't have any idea, so this one is maybe can help you. Okay, it's a close here. If let's say you don't want, just put close here. Okay, so this one is the how they are, uh, we call it data sharing. So the main here, you need to go for the process map. So in your process map, you include all the X variables, possible X variable, Y variables. So you can go further to prioritize maybe using which one that gram or maybe you can use in the cause and effect. Okay. So I put this one. So this one is the for me. Okay. Okay. So the next one is uh, next those inside the workspace is the Monte Carlo simulation. This one is uh, basically is quantitative analysis that accounts for the risk and uh, uncertainty of the system by including the variability in the output. As we know, if let's say you are a data analyzer, you already create your models, let's say y equal to MS plus C, so you want to do something like simulation. So for the mini tech product inside the workspace, we provide these tools, we call it multi Carlo simulation. Means that if let's say you are mini tap statistical software user, you already have the regression model. So you can insert that model into this workspace. Okay, we call it multi Carlo simulation. Okay, maybe multi Carlo simulation is uh, you want to do for the new product. Okay, you want to do um, you want to know about the manufacturing line or finance or your business activity and so on. Okay. Monte Carlo simulation use repeated random sampling to simulate data for a given mathematical models and evaluate and optimize the outcome. Okay. So this one is how uh, Monte Carlo simulation in your space. Uh, this one is you need to define your model first. After you define your model with your distribution, with your parameter, so you can create the stimulate and then they provide the simulation part. The main purpose here is that you uh, now you know how percent uh, your product is out of spec. Okay, and then you know about your CPK. Is it capable or not? If let's say you change it, your X here, from where to where, from maybe temperature. Maybe you just change it from 10 uh, Fahrenheit to 100 Fahrenheit. So what happened to your Y, your uh, Y, your output here? So you can know how many uh, product can be up or spec. Or you can go for the parameter optimization. Okay, so this one is the the main tools for the data analysis in workspace. Okay. 
So for example here, I have, uh, suppose I want to investigate the time to complete similar construction project. So my models for this uh, problem is the project time. You consider that project time is output, is your Y. And then I have my X here is a proposal plus with scoping, plus with executive uh, execution, plus with the delivery. So I have a four type of the X variable. Is it uh, in fact to the project time base? So for the proposal, I consider that that one is a uniform distribution. And then we have the maximum number is a half day to two days. And then for the scoping and execution, we consider that that one is the triangular distribution. We have a one to three uh, lower median, okay? And then we have the highest. And then we have delivery, yeah. uh, considered as a normal distribution. We have mean with the five, the standard duration is 1.5. So what our purpose is what a percentage of the project will take more, more than 30 days business, okay? So they want to know about the, let's say the project is, uh, can be more than 30 days. So what happened, how long, okay? So this one is the how to using the Monte Carlo simulation. Maybe you are not familiar with this distribution. Never mind if let's say you are mean, using the military statistical software, you can get the real distribution. Let's say you have your historical data, okay? So I think I go directly to that for space. Okay. So I have here. Okay, for example here, if let's say you want to create the Monte Carlo, go back to the inset and you choose the Monte Carlo simulation. Okay, so this one is the, you need to declare your X variable and then you declare your Y variable here. For example here, my X variable, I have four here, which is its proposal. Okay, proposal. Okay. So I consider that proposal is the uniform distribution. The lower one is 0 0.5 days and the upper is two. So you want to add another one. Scoping, okay, so it's triangular. Okay, the lowest one is the two. What is doing? What is the two? Okay, so you can add another one. Is the question. So my Y is the project time. Okay, so my question is the proposal. Plus with scoping. Okay, plus with execution. Plus with delivery. Okay. Ready. So now you have your Y here, it's a project. The, and then you have your X here, you have proposal, you have scoping, you have execution, you have delivery. So now you go for the uh, iteration, we consider that uh, five zero K and then you click the simulate. Okay, so this one is doesn't appear here because I doesn't put anything about the sorry, about the spec here. So let's say here I just uh, thirty. Okay. So I go to simulate. So now we know if let's say that model. So now this our spec is a fifty point seven percent 
percent. This can be our aspect. If let's say uh, that one is the 30 days. Okay, so this one is the first. If let's say you want to do, do the parameter optimization, okay, just click optimization, and then you just play around with this one. And then you go for the, let's say, proposal. You know one, the lowest one is three, highest one is five. Okay, so copy maybe you want to do the mode. Right. Okay. So execution for seven, six, eight. Okay. Optimize. Okay. So you're going for the optim parameter optimization. Okay. So this one is by the optimization of your X variable. Okay. Now you can go for the sensitivity analysis. You want to optimize by the standard deviation for every X variable. Okay. Sensitivity. So you can see that here, let's say you want to change it with the negative 30. Okay. So maybe you want to change it this one. Okay. And then simulate here. Okay. So for the multicolor simulation here, we have the optimization, parameter optimization to optimize your average. And then if let's say you want to optimize your deviation, you go for the sensitivity uh, analysis for the multicolor simulation part. Okay. But for the simulation, multicolor simulation, you need to create your uh, model first. And then after you get the model, you can go for the parameter optimization and then you can go for the sensitivity analysis. Okay. So I mean, before you get the model, you need to go for the maybe regression model. Okay. This one is applicable if let's say you don't want to do the DOE design of a sporting Okay. Okay, so this one is the, if let's say you are data analyzer, maybe you are more interested for the Monte Carlo simulation because this function is not in the Minitab statistical software. Okay, so I go to the next one. It's the, okay, this one is, uh, we consider that the new tools, okay, inside the uh, workspace in, because as I want to mention here, if let's say you are a companion uh, user, so this one is we consider that rebranding of desktop companion, uh, companion, which is, is we call it workspace. So this one is considered as a new tool. If we include the new one, is Canva work interview sheet. We have uh, introduced the SWOT analysis. It's a strength, weakness, opportunity, and trait. And then we have impact versus uh, effort matrices. And then we include the new FMA for the process and for the design FMA because this one is the new format from the AIG standard. Okay, so this one is considered the new tools. So those are uh, familiar with the desktop company. Okay, so basically to export the file, to export the tools, to export the form, you can export. Uh, use those to PDF file or CSV file and then to other circulation. Let's say you right click, you can send to office or you can send to uh, send to office Word or PowerPoint. Okay, so by right click only. So if we go to this one, go back this one. Okay, maybe this one. Okay, so you can go for the file. Okay, so you can save it. You can save or go back to this one. You can export. So you can export for create PDF file. So you can create PDF file or you can create the CSV file or you can send to the Microsoft Word or you can send to Microsoft PowerPoint. But I want to stress here for CSV file just only applicable for the house of quality and then for the model. Um, Monte Carlo simulation only. So to add the tools, uh, they cannot be saved or export as a CSV file. Okay, so you just uh, for the PDF file or send to the Microsoft. Okay, 
So let's say here, right click. So you can go for the send this one. Or you go for this, and then right click, you can export to PDF file. Or you can send to the PowerPoint. So let's say I go for the export to PDF file. Okay. Okay, so you can save save the in the PDF file. Okay, go back to this one. Okay, stop. Process map. Okay, so now you get the process map here. Okay, for to this one. Mm. So same step to do the export. Right click, send to. Right click, send to PowerPoint. Okay, so you can send, say four part. So I get this kind of the uh, process map. You just send to where you want to send it or where you don't save it. Okay, so this one is, uh, if let's say you want to save, okay, save as a template, save of as, save as, okay, you want you to save to your uh, document, okay? So let's say you are using for the team base, okay? Maybe you can uh, save as your, let's see here, please. Okay. Data definition. So it's let's say you want to do something like customization of the tools so you can go for the data definition so you can add and then you can add new data tables here okay so you can print also all the tool here you can print the file print okay so this one is the what we call it the uh, mini tab or space okay so you can save it to the uh, as part of save to PDF file, CSV file, but CSV file just applicable for house of quality and multicolor simulation. And then you can send directly to report purpose, maybe for wood, for presentation, maybe for PowerPoint. So this one is house step, the same step, the same step only. So this one is the differentiate between what space versus companion. Companion is a cloud based continuous improvement management package for project execution, governance, workflow, and da dashboard reporting. For the workspace, it's a desktop application with a comprehensive set of uh, visual tools for better business productivity. So if, let's say, you are looking for tools uh, and then you are looking for desktop, desktop version, so you can go for the workspace. But if you are looking for dashboard uh, reporting, Okay, you need to go for the companion. Okay, so what space uh, just only for desktop or we call it just locally only. If let's say you want to globally dashboard, so you need to go for the companion. This one is the main differences between companion and what space. Okay, so all of the essential visual business tools in one place. Minitab workspace enable you to move work forward with powerful visual tools, process map, brainstorm, diagram, and form in one intuitive interface right on your fingertips. Okay, our tools help from the process and identify the opportunity and make making problem easier to solve it. Okay, so do you have any question? Maybe. Any question? Okay, basically, if let's say you want to try this one, we provide the 
uh, trial version for one month, you can download in our website here. Okay. How to combine different graphs into a presentation and what format will be at the basically you can import to the PowerPoint. You can save it in the PDF file and then you can import to the uh, work as a reporting. Okay. So any question? So before I just end this webinar, I want to stress here for space is a tool inside there. Inside the tools, you may go for the uh, project. Inside the project, you have the pages for everything here. You can customize <clears throat> everything here. You can customize. Never mind. If I say you want to do the process map. So you can customize the process map. And then if let's say you want to do fish pond diagram, okay, you the one here, so you can customize. Uh, say you have the CN metric, okay, you can customize CN metric. And then I think if let's say we have another five minutes, okay, I go for the value stream mapping. This maybe you, you are from the DIN uh, background. This one is the main after you do the process map, maybe you can go for the uh, VSM. Inside the workspace, we provide the four uh, stream mapping and the seven stream mapping. And then from here, let's say you have inverter, uh, inventory or you have your uh, process here, maybe sales, fulfillment, packing, packing, shipping, and then all this calculation, cycle time, total value added, number added, all the mini tab was space calculate to you. So, but you need to insert the cycle time for every uh, process here for the value added here. Okay, you need to insert in the task pin here. Okay, and then you can get for the customer demand how many. So you can manipulate the data all this kind. So this one is the VSM. Same with the uh, process map. You have your icon, your shape in the gallery shape. You have a connector here. Okay, you can display the data display here. Okay, you can uh, change it to the timeline, maybe per hours, maybe per second. Okay, so per day. So everything you can manipulate for your BSN here. Any question? So same step, if let's say you want to insert, if let's say you want to create the value stream mapping, just value stream mapping. Okay, and then you choose for this uh, process or for seven process. Click here, click create. So you get the seven process here. So you need to include all the process here. So just double click and then you need rename and then you include your cycle time. Okay, so I think that's all for today. So let's say if you want to try or buy mini tech workspace, you can uh, visit our website www.minitech.com or www.visits.com or you can contact us uh, to sales at visit.com or minitech at visits.com. So uh, if let's say you want to something like news, uh, tips, so you can follow us through the media social, Mini Tech Malaysia and Singapore for Facebook and Link. Okay. And then don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to access back this webinar or previous webinar or coming webinar. Okay. So thanks and stay safe.